Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are looking at um, references and Easter eggs which are in Indiana Jones and Star Wars, which um, they switched about. So there's many various ones which we're going to show you. Um, we have just found these basically ourselves off Google. I've noticed a couple while watching the films. So let's just get into it. Okay guys, so the first reference which we are going to be looking at in Indiana Jones and Star Wars together is as you can see on the screen on the plane O O B C P O and if you don't understand what this is getting at it means Obi-Wan Kenobi and C3PO basically so the O B stands for Obi-Wan Kenobi or it could stand for Old Ben and then um Luke various times calls uh, a lot of them call um Han even calls it calls C3PO free uh, CPO or even free PO sometimes but um this is just I think some people could say that this is it's just a coincidence but considering that George Lucas is the producer of Indiana Jones and the Razor Lost Ark and he also directed um 1977's A New Hope and he's producer of all the other Star Wars films I just think it's highly likely that this is just a reference to show to some people's favourite trilogy. Okay, so the second reference is also in Indiana Jones and the Raiders Lost Ark, but it's a bit it is a bit later on in the film and I'm not sure if you can see it now, but on the screen to the left as you can see is C three PO and R two D two. This it this has to be it's it, this is nowhere near a coincidence that it's just the shape of it. It's a reference to C three PO and R two D two because in Star Wars, it's a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And technically, Indiana Jones is in the future of Star Wars, in a way. Because it's a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So maybe in um, R2-D2 and C-3PO, some like... Maybe they... Well, they did help the universe, but... Maybe some people um, praise them in Indy's day. Okay, guys. So this time, this reference is taken out from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Um... It, this is Club Obi Wan. I'm. Um, if you know, if you basically, if you have watched Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom and you like Star Wars, you've probably recognised this. This is this again. This can't not be a coincidence because George Lucas was, was also a producer of Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom. So I just think it was nice that they threw a couple of hints in there. Um. And yeah, this is quite a big one. But it also plays quite a big role um, in the story of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom because this is where Indy um, he picks up the characters Willy and Short Round which go to the temple with him. And yeah, this is the start of the film basically. Okay guys, so the third reference and the final reference from Indiana Jones is basically it's from Indiana Jones' The Last Crusade and Indy's fighting on this ship and the guy wants to kill him. And then I've increased the the picture of the barrel which says Carbonetto on it. But if you didn't know, in Indiana Jones, eh, sorry, in Star Wars: The Empire Strikes Back, Han Solo is put into Carbonite, and Han Solo is played by Harrison Ford, who also plays Indiana Jones. And as I said, George Lucas, many people on the set. So I just think this is a hint to Carbonite. I'm not too sure if Carbonetto is a substance a mineral or something that it just could have been a coincidence but it seems a bit likely that there's all the other ones and the guy wanted to kill him basically he wanted to put hanning okay carbonite. guys so the fifth and final reference which we found is in star wars episode one the phantom menace and this reference as you can see is Indian Jones walking up some steps and twisting his head slightly to his left to see the pod race and there's a whole crowd of people and I just think this reference could be not true but it's very very likely that it would be true because George Lucas directed this film he produced um he produced the Indiana Jones original trilogy um and I think if if it would have just been someone sat in Indy's outfit or something like what I'd say Indy's type of style outfit would be, he would be sat down and they wouldn't show him. Like I have increased the image 
um, to show you bigger. But it, it still stands out quite a bit if you pause the film. And I just think it's highly likely that it's a reference to it to show the fans for stuff something to, for the fans to talk about and um yeah it's just nice to see the cross universe to show that they're in the same universe okay guys so that is our indiana jones and star wars cross reference easter egg video over and done with i enjoyed doing this video but it's quite hard doing voiceovers but i would be very happy to do this type of thing again comment down below if you want us to do more easter egg videos and Please like and subscribe because we're about to hit 50 subscribers and we'll be doing a giveaway when we do it. Okay guys, see you in another video. Bye.